Good everyone, you're watching Radio Fixes. In this video, I'm going to talk about how to fix keyboard delay or keyboard lag in Windows 11 machine. Now, the steps what I'm going to mention in this video can also be tried for the previous version of Windows. Now, the first step, what I would suggest you to do is to update the keyboard drivers in your Windows. To do this, you will have to do a right click on the start button and then click on device manager. In case if you get a user access control prompt, you may click on yes or continue on the screen. Once you have device manager open on your computer screen, you will have to go ahead and look for keyboards. Under keyboards, you will see the list of keyboards which you are using on your computer. In my case, I'm using a default keyboard. Uh, in case if you're using an external keyboard, that keyboard would be listed under this section. So since it is a standard keyboard, since it is a default keyboard, what I will do is I will go ahead and choose standard PS2. In your case, it could be a different. So you will have the keyboard name displayed under this section. So to update the driver, uh, what you will have to do is you will have to do a right click, select standard PS2 or keyboard, and then click on update driver. Once you have this window open, you will have to choose an option which says search automatically for drivers. Now, in case if you have all the drivers installed on the computer, you will see an option which says the best drivers for your device are already installed. Just in case, if you still want to go ahead and check for the updates via Windows Update, you can click on search for the update. In this case, what would happen is you, um, your keyboard will go ahead and check for the latest drivers via Windows Update. So basically, it will prompt you to go ahead and update your Windows. So in case if there are updates available on your computer, you would see, see these options here. So I would suggest you to go ahead and check for the updates uh, once if there are any updates available I would suggest you to install those updates restart your computer and then try to check if the if there is still a keyboard delay in your uh, Windows machine now in spite of trying all these steps in case if you're still facing a problem the next step what I would suggest you to do is I would suggest you to go ahead and change the power settings so um, so the first option is turn off the USB selective suspend settings in your Windows machine. To do this, you will have to go to search. In the search, you can go ahead and type edit power plan. So you can go ahead and type uh, e-edit power plan. Once you have the best match for edit power plan, click on it. It will take you to this window which says change settings for the plan. Under this section, you will have to go ahead and click on change advanced power settings. Once you click on it, you will see a small window for power option. Under power option, you will have to look for USB settings. Under USB settings, you can expand uh, the USB settings here. So here you have an option which says USB selective suspend settings. So in case if they are enabled here, uh, if it is a laptop, you would see on battery or plugged in. Since I'm using a laptop, I have two options. If it is a desktop, you might have one option here. So you will have to go ahead um, and go and disable that. Once you go ahead and disable that, disable for both on power and on battery once it is uh, once you have disabled from the list you will have to go ahead and click on apply and then click on ok restart your computer and uh, check if uh, you're still facing a problem uh, in case if you're still facing a problem the next step what i would suggest you to do is to change the usb root hub properties so to do this, uh, what you will have to do is uh, you will have to open device manager on your computer. To do this, you will have to do a right click and then go to device manager. Under device manager, you can expand once you have the windows open, windows window for device manager open, you can go ahead and expand it. And you will have to look for universal serial bus controller. So you would see right here. Under this section, you will have to look for USB root hub 3.0. Yeah. 
so you can do a right click highlight usb root hub 3.0 and click on properties once you have properties go to power management under this section you will have to uncheck the box which says allow the computer to turn off this device to save power once it is done you will have to click on apply okay and then restart the computer and see if you're still facing a problem in case if you're still facing a problem um, the next step what i would suggest you to do is i would suggest you to go ahead and repair the corrupt system files on your computer so to do this um, what you will have to do is you will have to open the command prompt as an administrator so the best way to do is either you can do a right click and uh, look for command prompt here box you can go ahead and type cmd so the best thing uh, what i would suggest you to do is uh, in the search box you can go ahead and type cmd and you can run as click on the option which says run as administrator in case if you get a user access control prompt you may click on yes or continue on the screen once you have the command prompt open um, i would suggest you to try all the tools uh, the check health tools the scan health tool and the restore health tool and also the sfc scan on the computer i will mention those command in the uh, video description so you can do a right click and uh, that should once you copy the command from the video description you can do a right click and that should automatically paste the command and hit enter once this is done uh, it will go ahead and check uh, for the system check health and you will see this prompt which says the operation has been completed successfully and um, these are the results no component store corruption detected because the my system uh, the system check or the uh, health of my computer seems to be okay in case uh, once this is done I, the next thing is to run the next command that is by doing a right copy the uh, command from the description and do a right click and hit enter so this will go ahead and uh, scan for the health it will uh, deploy image servicing and management tool and this will um, go ahead and run for a couple of minutes once this is done uh, I would suggest you to wait for a minute or two or maybe um, till the scan health or scan is completed once this is done uh, then I would suggest you to go ahead and run another command for restore health which I'm going to paste it in the uh, description so let's wait once the scan health is completed you will see an option which says the operation completed successfully and the component store um, the component store is repair, uh, repair, repairable is what the message what you would see on the screen once it is done then i would suggest you to run the next command to restore health uh, which i'm going to paste it in the command section so you can do a right click and that should automatically uh, paste the command and hit enter once uh, these commands are completed you will have to go ahead and uh, wait for the command to complete so that the re uh, health has been restored health command has been successfully completed once it is done then the next command what i would suggest you to go ahead uh, to do is i would suggest you to uh, go ahead and run the sfc scan now so to run the SFC scan on your computer, what you will have to do is in the command prompt, you will have to go ahead and type uh, SFC, SFC space forward slash scan now and hit enter once. Now, once you hit enter, uh, now this process is going to take some time. And um, when you restart your computer, uh, it will go ahead and rerun the SFC scan again. And uh, once it is completed, you can go ahead and restart your computer and then try to check if there is any delay in your keyboard now uh, in case if there is no delay well and good you don't have to try the next step now if you're still facing a problem in spite of trying all this step the next step i would suggest you to go ahead and do is to increase the virtual memory now to increase the virtual memory uh, you what you will have to do is you will have to do a right click or you will have to uh, click on search under the search section you will have to go ahead and type view advanced settings 
which can also be accessed from the system properties so view advanced settings so view advanced settings you can go ahead and click on it for the best match results now once you have the system properties window open uh, you, will, you will have to go ahead and click on advanced under advanced you will see performance under performance you will have to go ahead and click on settings once you have the performance options open under this section you will have to go ahead and click on advanced and here you will see an option which says virtual memory under virtual memory you you would want to go ahead and click on change now once you click on change it will virtual memory window will open on your computer screen under this section you will have to go ahead and uncheck the box now there are a couple of criterias where you can how to set the virtual memory now here uh, once you uncheck you will have to click so you will have to go ahead and click on no paging file and then click on custom size and here you can go ahead and set initial size and maximum size now the criteria for setting the virtual memory is you will have to, you can always set the initial size to 1.5 times into your actual memory that is your actual available memory into uh, 1024 so let's check what is the actual memory so to check the actual memory you can do a right click and then go ahead and click on system once you click on system you will have the system properties window open on your computer so in my case the actual memory is about 8 gigs so it uh, so the initial size would be 1.5 into 8 into 1024 so this would be my actual memory size that is 12 to 12 to 88 and uh, maximum memory would be um, 3 times into 8 into 1024 which is 24576 so this would be my um, initial and maximum size available once it is done you may go ahead and click on set and then click on ok and once it is completed i uh, you can go ahead and restart the computer uh, and please note i'm also going to mention these criteria in the video description you can uh, you can refer to the criteria uh, from the video description which will allow you to set the actual virtual memory once you restart your computer then you can try if you're still facing a lag or delay in your keyboard if you're still facing a problem the next step would be to go ahead and modify the registry uh, how to modify the registry um, now you will have to open the registry editor in the search box you can go ahead and type reg edit or you can type registry editor the best match would uh, would be a registry editor you may click on yes or ok on the computer for the user access control under this you can go ahead and type the uh, registry here this is the search box you can copy the command or the path from the video description and paste it here so the path is HK current user control panel accessibility and keyboard response either you can go navigate directly from here that is HK current user control panel accessibility which you would see right here and then you would see keyboard responses either you can go this way or you can if you hit enter it will also take you take you directly to this uh, path on your computer so you can follow either ways now before you make any changes to your registry i would suggest you to go ahead and uh, take a backup of your registry now the first thing what i would suggest you to do is i would suggest you to go ahead and state the uh, change the auto repeat rate from 500 to 200 how do you do it you double click on it change the value the value data is from 500 to 200 so you will have to go ahead and change the value here auto repeat delayed change from five uh, change from thousand to 200 and change the other value from auto repeat rate from the existing value to six and delay before acceptance uh, make sure it has been set to zero from whatever value it is on your computer flags 
you will have to go ahead and set it to 5959 from the current value what you have on your computer and then bounce time it has to be set to zero in case if it is zero you don't have to make any changes if there is any number other than zero you will have to go ahead and change that number from the existing number to zero click on ok and then once it is completed you will have to go ahead and restart your computer and uh, check if you are still facing delays in the uh, keyboard now in in spite of trying all these uh, steps if you're still facing a problem uh, what i would suggest you to do is i would suggest you to leave me a comment section and um, so that i can come up with a possible solution so this is how you can go ahead and fix the keyboard delayed in your windows 11 or the previous version of windows i hope this video was useful in case if you like this video please make sure to hit the like button and do not forget to subscribe to my channel thank you have a great day